And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Miami Marlins. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. And Singy, these two teams aren't rivals in the sense they play in the same division, but it's clear they have each other's attention. Yeah, and they should be on each other's radars, and they could very well find themselves playing each other again in the postseason. And I'll tell you, that's a recipe to fast-track a rivalry. Both teams are talented, and I can't imagine a scenario where one backs down in this matchup. So almost ready to get underway and today's starter Sandy Alcantara last year's Cy Young Award winner of the National League singing. Well Brooke he was healthy last year and gained a tremendous amount of confidence. He took a big step forward last season. I think he'll take another one this season. And yeah, the batter now Mookie Betts. Leading off tonight for the Dodgers the second baseman Mookie Betts. And here it comes. In for a strike. And we're off and rolling in Miami. And the 01. And that's in there at the knees. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. And the 0 2. One ball, two straight. And that one is inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Comes a 2 2. Whoa. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The pitch. Bounced out to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Lead off man aboard on the air, and that puts your pitcher in a little bit of a tough spot right away to start the inning, not where you want to be. So. We'll see if he's able to work around it and pick the defense up. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. There's a swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. That's to third. Knocks it down. He decides to hold on to it, and a run is in to score. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Recognize the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. Max Muncy in the box now, takes strike one. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in, you got to try to get another one or maybe two. Check swing, no appeal, and one and one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Righty delivers. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Fights it off, he'll see another.
The one two. Back to right. Sanchez gets under it. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. Close play, but in there. David Peralta at the play. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In comes the runner from third. It's 2-0. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Jason Hayward. First pitch just misses. Smith, the lead runner at second, Peralta at first, one gone. Next one is off the plate, and now 2 and 0. Good spot for the hitter, definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Left hand hitter waits. Just missed. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Base is loaded with one away. Now the left fielder, Chris Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Got him swinging. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And now the center fielder, James Outman. Now a pop-up on the infield. Arise has it sized up. Squeezes it. And that is that. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Dodgers two and the Marlins nothing. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Our starting pitcher in this one, Bobby Miller. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. And now Luis arrives. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. Check swing, but he went too far. And a count one and one.
just missed. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. In the air, out towards left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. The designated hitter. Now here's the Marlins DH, Jake Berger. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch, not close. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning. And off to a shaky start. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. First and second here, no outs. Out front, rip foul. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Here's a 2-2. He goes down looking. Batting four. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. First offering misses the mark. One ball, no straight. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Arise. Coming home. He'll score easily. And it's a one-run game. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now for the Marlins, Brian De La Cruz. And the first offering is not close. At the belt and fires. There's the strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is a Line drive, he brings it down. Nice play. Batting foot. The right fielder. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. And that's in there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Throw over to first, and he's back safely. Bell on third, Chisholm on at first with two down. Bows it off, still one and two. That one missed. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Him looking huge strikeout there. 
Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at the ballpark, Miguel Rojas at the play. Miguel Rojas. The right hander back to work. There's a strike. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Hit weakly on the ground. Arise on the first. One out in the second. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Book, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. Betts in the box with one away as he takes ball one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Chisholm drifts towards it. Calls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, the first base. Freddie. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for one with a double and a run score. In for a strike, it's 0-1. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Going two now. And downstairs. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. We head to the bottom of the second. John Birdie at the plate. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has. Maybe above average speed, but he does. That's in there. That's strike one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And takes low for ball one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Not Very frustrating enough. right there Not as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Joey Wendell. That yeah, one's in there on one. And a pitch. Strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Jacob Stallings in the box with two gone. 
And takes a look at a called strike. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And what ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball left side. Fires across the diamond. Marlin set down in order. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Dodgers two and the Marlins one. Welcome back. The batter now will be Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, one there. Okay. Swings through that one, one for ball. strike one. one strike. That's oh, in there. Two. One ball. Two strike. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And now it's Max Muncy. 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. On the ground to third. And that chance handled. He is he's safe. And that was bang, bang at first. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. And at the plate for the Dodgers, David Peralta singled and drove in a run his first time through. Little chopper rolls foul. Peralta, in his ninth season, 35 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And a pitch. On the ground at first, and he grabs it foul. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. And a ball in two strikes. Stays alive. The one two and a ball oh. evens the count. Two, two. Right side and he picks oh. it up in foul territory. Two two and now it's filled up. And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So first and second with one man gone. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Muncie on second. Peralta over at first with one away. Next offering is down low. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike.
Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Chris Taylor now. He struck out with the bases loaded his last time. Another opportunity with the sacks packed right here. And first offering is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The pitch. Bye. And there's a the ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone now. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First time up was a pop out. And that one wrapped foul. And now the one. A little out front there as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one misses, and the count is one and two. Two outs, bases are full. High fly ball down the left field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. And the Dodgers leave him loaded. They lead it 2 1. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. And the right hander back to work. Just off the outside part of the plate. And that's outside. And it's 2 and 0. And there's the strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one catches the zone, and that is strike two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Oh, man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Josh. Bell. Here's Josh Bell. And he's already singled in this game. Pitch misses. Ball one. Righty to the plate. Left field. Taylor. Long run on his horse. He's got it. Two down. The batter. The designated hitter. Here's some real power at the plate. Jake Berger caught looking his first time up. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Really good run, perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. In there. And so now one and two. Oh. 
Here comes a pitch. That one is upstairs. Oh. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. And now it's filled up. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Taylor settles under this one. And that will end the inning. And one, two, three go the Marlins. And they trail it here, two to one. Back here in Miami as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Miguel Rojas. Alcantara back to work. Misses outside, 1-0. and oh. Good eye right there. Two balls, no strike. 2-0. Oh. And it goes just foul. Here's a 2-1. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Mookie now. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And that's in for a strike. Chris, remember back in 2018 on August 9th at Toronto, Mookie Betts hit for the cycle, but it wasn't just a hit for the cycle. He needed a home run at his last at bat in the ninth and delivered. You won. Swing and a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. The first base hit, number five. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One for two. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. Rojas, the lead runner out at second. Betts at first with no outs. He's going. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. And the right-hander deals. Pitch misses outside. Two and one. Kicks and fires. Swing and Freeman blasts one to right. That one carrying. Pop just shy of the wall. Runner tags at second, and he makes it up to third with one away. The the catcher, Will, Smith. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. First and third, one down. And one and two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. And the righty deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Birdie tossed the second. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Why to kick the pitch? That one a triple digits. 
He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. You know, these Marlins do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. That one fouled off, two and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Off the mark there. Full count now. And that's ball four. Leading off for the Marlins. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. He's 0 for 1. First offering, and it just misses. Swing and a miss as he was late. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. Ball misses. The throw. Tag. And he's out. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. The count two and one and fouled off. Two two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next pitch is downstairs. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Swing and a miss struck him out. And up next for up Miami, Jesus Sanchez. The right fielder. Struck out looking at his first at bat. That just oh, misses. Nice. Ball one. That's oh. a little bit low. Two and oh. The pitch. Oh. And a strike in there. Two balls. One strike. Outside. Oh. And a pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Birdie batting for the second time, and that's strike one. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Kicks and deals. In there at the knees for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. One left for Miami. And our score remains 2-1. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, Max Muncy. Number 13. Max Muncy. The pitch. 
Strike one. No ball. One strike. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, David Peralta. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. And it's one and one. Check swing, no appeal. That one in for a strike, two and two. Goes down looking. Jason Hayward now at the plate. Jason Hayward. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 0 2. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Joey Wendell, the next up for the Marlins. The pitch. A little roller up along first. And he takes it himself for the out. Good two-seam action right there, running away down from the batter. Catcher. Rolled over it, got the ground Jacob. out. Stalling. Jacob Stallings now. First time up, he grounded to third. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Ryan Yarbrough looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Varland, the right-hander, loosening up as well. One down, base is empty. And there's the strike. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. The one-two. And that's in the dirt. This one in the air right field. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, number three, second baseman. So the lineup flips over. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. A strikeout and a walk. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Line of the pitch. 
Down the left field line, base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during no batting bad. practice today. First so impressed here. with his ability yeah. to let the ball travel, yeah. go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. On, Josh Bell at the plate now. First pitch, Hot. just misses. Arise leads off first with two down to the inning. There's a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, that one might sting for a bit, but it helps the team, and it boosts the OBP move. Sometimes that trade-off is worth it, but you know, sometimes it's not. In the box, lays off for ball one. Two balls, no strikes to count. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. Yeah, that's a little high. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. First and second, two down. Hit hard, that gets through. Around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 2-2. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So two down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Jazz Chisholm Jr. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that one off the outside edge. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Two on, two outs. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. And out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. And they tack on three. It's 5-2. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And now here is Brian De La Cruz. First offering, misses the mark. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. Miller. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. In the air, foul off first. Puts the squeeze on it, and that's the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's 5-2. Major League Baseball is on the show.
Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Leading off, Chris Taylor. Alcantara back to work. And that one clips the corner. You know, these Dodgers finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They do have two hits with runners in scoring position, so they've delivered in those moments a couple of times, but for the most part, they're leaving a lot of food on their plate. Way outside, and it's two and one. Right hander kicks deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. And next for L.A., James Outman. Outman. Alcantara over to first. Taylor dives back in safely. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. And the 0-1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Activity in the bullpen. Steven Okert appears to be getting loose. Hoeing getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. Oh. One ball. Two straight. To third might be two. Throws it away. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Well, things that lead to big innings other than hits or home runs are, of course, walks and errors. Free base runners, and they've been gifted with both so far this inning. And that will make any manager in the dugout just stew a little bit, and I'm sure he is right now. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one misses. Ball one. Just nope. off the outside edge. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Another throw over. And he's back again. Taylor at third. Outman on at first with nobody out. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two and one now. Grounder might be two. Wendell to second. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killing. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Now it's Mookie Betts. One for three. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Betts goes five feet, nine inches, 180 pounds, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. The 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there.
Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And he walked him. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Freeman stands in now and watches strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0-1. Rip to right, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And up next for Los Angeles, Will Smith. Ripped on the ground a second. Arise on the first, and they get the out on Smith. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Six, seven, eight, do in the bottom of the sixth. Marlins five, and the Dodgers three. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Ryan Yarbrough. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. So digging in, Jesus Sanchez. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Jack Swing went around. Going one. Sanchez, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next offering misses. One and one. One ball, one strike. The one, two. This one popped up. Muncie makes the grab one away. The third baseman, number five, John. John Birdie will hit Birdie. next. Miami. Pitch misses inside, one and oh. Movement in the bullpen. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Gonzalez, the power lefty, up as well. The 1 0. Whew. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That's hard hit in the line. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Man at second with one away. And now for the Marlins, Joey Wendell. First pitch, and he just misses. Yarbrough throws over. Birdie back in on a dive. Runner at second here, one gone. There's a strike. And 
This is inside. And another ball. In the air out to center. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Now batting. Catcher. Jacob. Stalling. And here's the catcher. Jacob Stallings. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game. You know you need more. Got to continue to add runs. If you're going to get out of here with a win. First offering no, and it just misses. Birdie at second with two down. Ball to strike. Good eye in that spot. Two and two. Bows it back with two strikes. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Runner leads away at second. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Runner at second, two down. On the ground, Muncie slings the first, third out. Marlins leave one, and it remains 5 3. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Stephen Oker. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Max Muncy at the dish. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And he deals. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Way upstairs, two balls, two strikes. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Yeah, there's Thank ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So now the DH spot, David Peralta. And first offering is fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here.
That one way outside. One ball, one strike. And yeah, that's too high. Hot shot to third. Birdie over to second. On to first. Double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Now, here is Jason Hayward. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. That one inside, and it's a ball to strike. That's inside. That's out to center field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional double bit stretch. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. The second baseman. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And there's a foul ball. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Started to swing, held up. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. The wind and the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Smith gets it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. I mean, no, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Ball one, no strikes. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. And that one almost got him. Inside, no. just missed. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. And now the lefty. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And he's got a double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. One down. And now here's the Marlins DH, Jake Berger. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Fastball almost got him there.
The pitch. Fought off foul. Man at second. That one oh. missed. Bell leads off second with one gone in the inning. Two on pitches in there, and the count is even. Out to short, Rojas zips it to first. That's the second out. The bat, the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. He's already homered in this game. First pitch just misses. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Base hit left center field. Bell headed for the plate. The throw into second. And he's in there, and a run comes in to score, and his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Man in scored position with two away. Here's the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Just a slow ground ball this time. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Marlins get a run on the RBI double. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. So they bring on the veteran, David Robertson. He last pitched two days ago. David Robertson. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The left fielder, number three. Chris well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Gets under and pops it up. Arise has it sized up. Calls it in, and there's one away. The center fielder, number 33, James. Now here is Outman. James Outman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's oh. a ball. Two and oh. Now three oh. and O. Oh. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball.
the 0 1. And ball one. And a pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five. Four. Three double play. And the inning is over. Three up, three down that time. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Marlins six and the Dodgers three. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Caleb Ferguson just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The right fielder. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Check swing. He went. And it's 0 1. Next offering is foul back. Chris, you look at it, these are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well instill some confidence in the manager and all of a sudden they're pitching higher leverage spots in the postseason well in this final month I mean this is an audition period for the call-ups but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster and at the plate for Miami John Birdie swing and a miss that's strike one And the pitch. And a good no. eye there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The 1-1. One -one. Bounce back to the mound. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Shortstop. Joey. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Miami, Joey Wendell. Yes. There's a strike. No ball, one strike. That Aye. clips the corner. Oh, and two now. And delivers oh. outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. In the dirt. Throw on to Freeman. And that is the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Through eight full, it's the Marlins six and the Dodgers three. New arm out of the bullpen, Tanner Scott. He's thrown the ball very well overall this season. He's been really Number tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Mookie now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Next offering is foul back.
One, two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Freeman, the next to hit, okay. takes outside. So two balls and no strikes. Here comes a pitch. And there's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. In for a strike. And the count is even two and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And now okay. it's filled up. Freeman tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Digging in, Will Smith. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went, says Dave Lawrence. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And another ball. Three two good plate appearance there able to take the walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Two outs runner at first. Here's Max Muncie that funky Muncie. Check swing didn't go and it's one to know. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back. And a 1 0. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Left hand hitter waits. Check swing, no appeal. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. And now the DH, David Peralta. That misses. And that is ball one. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. 
This one is over. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.